We are back. Two lives in one day. It's just, it's just one of those days. Okay, How's it going? Hi, Taylor. How's the driveway going? There is our live. Let me sprinkle away. Hello again. How's it going? Did you miss me? <laughs> Twice in one day. So, we're gonna keep going. The first video is downloading. All I did was added the intro and outro and just downloaded the same live. So, if you've already caught the live, nothing special, just recorded it to put it on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, so we can copy and paste the link and it makes it easier. Thank you, Miss Rachel, I already did. <laughs> Okay, so while you guys, Neil came, we ran to lunch. I had to go to the rec center to pick up the kids' summer camp forms. And then um, look what came in. So these are my stands from Decal Ranch. Um, they are 3D printed and they just pop in like this. So that's exciting. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Helen. Hi, Charlie. Hey, Linda. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Belinda. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. I think I always have to say that. All right, we're going to move to our spray shelter, our spray tent. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tumblers that we glittered earlier, and then we're going to figure out, hello, we're going to figure out which ones need to be sealed. I know for a fact that this one has to be sealed because we just used um, Mod Podge. So if you barely shake it, your glitter will probably fall all over the place. If you missed the first, hi Miss Judy. Um, I wanna go to Siesta Key, we've never been, uh, like an hour. I think we're like an hour from Sarasota, but I'm not sure how close Sarasota is to Siesta Key. But we're right over the Skyway. Um, so because I use Mod Podge on this, if you were to sprinkle your cup and glitter falls off, you know it, you have to um, seal it. Or if you take your finger and glitter starts coming off on your finger, you know you have to seal it. So that being said, I'm going to use up the rest of this bottle. Running out. Oh, how cool is that? Um, so when you move on to the next step, if you guys watched the first video, if you are a newbie, this is phase two. This is part two. We're gonna do beginning to end on a tumbler, multiple different methods, all the way through till we finish a cup. So this is the triple thick clear glaze. It's running out, but I'm gonna finish it up. So what I do is start on the, um, the finer glitter, if you have an ombre like this, or two glitters together. That way it prevents a lot of that chunky from traveling to your clear, I mean to your finer cut. And then I will just continue. And you might lose some glitter in the process. It's gonna fall, it's gonna do its thing. And then I'll turn it this way to get that top. So now that this is done, I need to turn on the vent. I forgot. I will set this aside. Actually, I'm just gonna go put it on the turner. I forgot I have a big turner. I forgot, we're right here. Oh, that stinks. Okay, so the next one I have right here is our Athena. I know, I'm, everybody was talking about it. Um, Cindy Paul gave it to me, she's a customer, and I don't know where she got it. So hopefully she'll watch and can share. There was another um, tent shared in the comments before. I'm gonna take the same spray paint and just seal it until this bottle runs out on me. She's strong. And put this one away. Another option instead of spray painting is Quick Coat from Counterculture or a Urethane Sealer. I've heard people interchange them all the time. They don't have issues. So 
I have my turner here. I'm going to pop my tumbler on there. I know it's like a really weird view, but that's what we have. So with this, we're going to turn this on. And I am right-handed, so I'm going to go that way. Now, this is the bottle. Hi, Kimberly. This is the bottle that I use. This is from CC DIY. I also like to put it in the Dollar Tree squirt bottles. It just is less to work with if you want to. I mean, I have this already, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and then CC DIY also sells little twist tops to help with your application. So this is gonna be just like you were to do your epoxy, except it's very, 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 very runny. It's like water. So all you're gonna do is coat your entire tumbler with this before your epoxy and you're going to wait a couple hours um i don't typically use this on glitter i prefer this for decals because um, it really helps your vinyl not lift what method did we use on this cup i don't remember because it looks like it's rubbing off so that's not good i'm gonna hold off i don't think i think i used the spray paint did i use a spray paint what did I use on this one? Oh, Loctite? Okay, well, look at that. It's just rubbing off, so that's not good. So, I should have just sealed this one. I guess I should have written down what we did on what cup, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna re-glitter this before I lose it. I'm rubbing that off. So don't use Quick Coat on a cup that you used. <laughs> that you used um, whatever method we use this one for. If you've done um, the epoxy method, it's a really good one for because the glitter is stuck in there. But I forget what method we did this one with. So all I'm going to do is switch this. Yeah. Switch this and then just re-glitter it. Re-glitter her. Or I could let her dry. I'd probably just let her dry. But might as well since we have on the turner still. Idiot. I didn't even think. I was like, let's go. Next. Yeah, so I will <laughs> I'll put this on the turner and let it spin, and then I'll go back in with some Loctite so that we can finish it up. Whoops. Good thing it wasn't that important, huh? Okay. But I have other cups to epoxy, so let me go scoop these. Stay. Put it on the big turner. take our spray paint. We'll finish up our bottle. It's still going. She's still going strong. Don't die on me. And we're going to put her on the turner. Loctite. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> you got to seal the Loctite ones with clear spray paint. All right, we're calling that one a day. And then what do we use with Kissy? I don't remember. So we're going to go ahead and spray her too. <laughs> Miss Cindy Paul is on. Miss Cindy, everybody ask, is asking where you got this spray tent. This spray tent. I've been using it all day. And everybody's like, where did you get it? I'm like, I don't know, Miss Cindy gave it to me. Okay, I'm gonna set her aside. And then we have one more. Well, I'll just start epoxying. <laughs> Ikea, 14 bucks. No way! I know, I have the thing on. 
Had no idea it was from Ikea. That's super cool. Okay, so for this, I have a ton of cups to epoxy. And because I'm going to use CCDIY, I have tons of work time. I'm going to do a pretty hefty amount. Actually, I'm going to... No, I'll finish this up. Of epoxy and mix a big batch because I have so many cups to do. So I'm taking this little Dixie cup. And I'm thinking I should just get the gallon out to fill these. I'm going to grab the big ones, the big gallon jugs. Okay, so I'm just going to pour these. And then I will use a solo cup um, to mix it. Rachel I've used the Aquanet I've heard the cheap ones are really good but it didn't last very long like it kind of fell off like that other one <laughs> it kind of fell off like that so I wasn't a huge fan of it I just got that whole cap on me I know, right? 14 bucks at Ikea, that's crazy. I figured it'd be like a $100 tent from Amazon. It's brilliant. I love it. I'm so excited you blessed me with it. Okay. So part A is going in. mixing your resin. You can use anything from oops, a popsicle stick to a metal stir stick to a silicone spatula, whatever you have. I am going to use this silicone one because that's what I have in front of me. And I don't have to worry about the work time because it's regular resin. I have a heat gun right next to me, the craft gun, not like a real heat gun, just the pink one. Well, it's a heat gun, excuse me. And I'm going to mix. Yeah, that's brilliant. I love when people share their tips and tricks. I would have never thought that. Okay. Yes, Rachel. I, yes, Miss Iris. I love double-sided tape. That is one of my favorites. Hello. Thank you, Miss Charlene. He actually came and picked me up for lunch. He's allowed to drive. He has not had dialysis since the 11th, which is super exciting. Like all good things, all good things. So I'm just mixing this, you can see how full it is, all the way to here. And I'm going to sit here and mix for a little bit. I'm a whipper, like I'm a, and I do that for big batches, little batches. That is just how I mix my epoxy. I've never had an issue with CCDIYs. I've never had a problem with it not mixing, not curing. Um, that's what I've used. I, I'm still on the hunt, still haven't found something that I'm like, over the moon about. Jody actually has um, Mr. Nola's something. I don't know what, but Mr. Nola something, and we're. I want to try that too. I know, so exciting. And when you have a bigger batch, it's going to take longer to mix. So you want it to go from a clear to a cloudy to a clear. I'm sure all of you know this, but if there are some newbies, I'm just reiterating. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, prayers for your speedy recovery. And my hand starts hurting right about now. Also, if you've done an epoxy method, you do not have to, re you don't have to, if you're, if you have a one color tumbler and you did an epoxy method to begin with, you do not have to seal it or anything because it's the same color going on the whole cup. So I will show you that with the hourglass um, tumbler that we did earlier. All right, so it looks pretty darn clear to me. If I don't take the spatula and wash it or like wipe it down right now, um, I'll never remember. And then it'll be ruined. Well, it's silicone, so I miss Tanya. I'm good. Tumblr Poxy, I've heard of theirs, um, but I haven't tried it. I also want something that I can keep in store because we sell epoxy in store also, and that's another reason we have CC DIY because we sell it in store. All right, so this tumbler is um, the Lush Diamond Cut. And I should have just kept that spatula because now I'm going to ruin this one too. That was dumb. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to point the phone down towards our tumbler that we have going and we're just going to cover it with epoxy we're going to get going we'll probably have to stand up yep Woo. this color is so stinking pretty it's crazy how you watch colors change under epoxy also. So we wanna go all the way to the top because we're gonna sand that down. All the way to the top. Make sure you can feel the same consistency the entire way around your tumbler. Then we're gonna hit the bottom. And I like to drag it like this and let the entire tumbler roll under my finger. It kind of helps me just get a nice even coat the whole way around. And then the same thing on the bottom. You want that same consistency all the way through. So I'll add a, oops, there was my trash can. I'll add a smidge more and just make sure that whole butt is coated. If you have extra and there's no glitter in it, you can put it back in your cup because we sealed it really well, there shouldn't be glitter, but sometimes you get a few strays here and there. So the other utensils or tools or whatever you wanna call them, we don't eat with them, so. Tools that I like are a kitchen torch or a regular blow torch. What the torch is gonna do is pop any of those little bubbles and the heat gun helps even out your epoxy. I'm gonna keep it moving so it's not in one spot. And then I see some glitter down here that I missed. So I'm just gonna make sure I get that butt real well, nice and even. And then I will take our pink heat gun from CCDIY or whatever one you use. And then just evenly go over the whole cup about two or three passes. Moving your heat gun, of course. That's two, one more. And that's 
So we will switch it out and keep going to the next cup. Move this to the big turner. Bye. So then we have our kissy one. Yee! And I'm touching it just to make sure the glitter's not sliding around. I wish you guys can see the whole thing. Not really. Hold on, let me turn you guys just a little bit so you can see what I'm seeing. Please hold. better not really hold on getting these angles I don't know how these people do it all the time hi miss Gina okay that's a little bit better you can see the whole cup now okay same thing I did on the others I'm not applying too much pressure I'm not applying enough pressure to where I can feel the glitter you just want the epoxy And I'm just pushing it up where it's built up. If there's too much, it's too thick. And again, if I have no glitter on my hands, I can dump it back into the cup. And then I'll work on the butt. Trying to put that, the, the drips that keep falling, trying to keep that over the cup so I'm not wasting that epoxy too, but sometimes it's just impossible. Sometimes you're just too focused. And then I am just evening this out, making sure the whole cup is evenly coated, no missing spots, nothing's balding. I also really like the thickness of CC DIY's epoxy because you don't have to do multiple, multiple layers. So I don't know, man, I'm really struggling with epoxy because I'm really happy with CC DIY. Look how pretty that color is. Oh, that purple is everything. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to take the blowtorch and the kitchen torch and just pop any micro bubbles or any bubbles that might have come to the top. And then I'll use the heat gun to smooth it out. I'm going to take this. Make sure you can see your flame. No, you can post anything. I don't care. Go for it. Get all the areas but not staying in one spot then I'm gonna go in with the heat gun just help smooth it out get it nice and even thank you Yes, girl, post away. You know I don't care. Okay, then, especially if it's something that's helpful. Hello? Hello? Hi, thank you. You can start right there. All right, thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay. 
Okay, and then this one I need to tape off because I took it off to show you guys. So I will just take the same painter's tape and I'll take it off. Um, I'll usually try to set a timer. I mean, we've all forgotten, right? Like <laughs> we've let it go and then been like, dang it. I forgot to take the tape off of that stupid koozie or whatever it was. And then I'm just gonna roll this. So I have a little bit of silver exposed. And then I'm gonna do my little tabby so I can take it off easily. Isn't she pretty? I did not seal her though, do I need to? Oof, I probably should seal her. I don't know what method we did on this one. I'm gonna seal her just in case. I don't really want to deal with all that. Let me show you. Let me show you. This color. Oh, do you see that color? That is gorgeous. Right? This is ruthless. It's gorgeous. It is everything. Back to the cup. And I'm gonna dry it quickly with our heat gun so we can go into epoxy quickly. Pop a color, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know what was what, man. I should have written it down. Yeah, Ruthless on a blue base is just gorgeous. Okay, I can keep going. I love when you can just go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, under epoxy it's even prettier. I used the Ruthless Fine and a Chunky on one of the, um, oh, it's really blurry for you guys. I just see that, sorry. Um, on one of the Wing It cups, like the Milky Way Wing It. Oh, it was beautiful. So with the Sangria earlier, how I jacked that up, that could have been easily prevented. <laughs> just by spraying it quickly, but now you know what's gonna happen if you don't. So, see? Happy accidents turn into learning moments. So again, I'm just going to rub this back and forth, up and down, side to side to make sure everything is coated. Blurry, so let me move you back just a smidgen. Let's see if that helps at all. All right, same thing. I'm going to heat it. and then we're gonna use our gun. I'm using CCDIY's Artist Resin, Miss Judy. Okay, I'm gonna go take this over there. Man, that color, look at that. That is so stinking pretty. Now we have our 
Athena that we um, did earlier, that we spray sealed earlier. Take this and go ham. It's all one color, doesn't really matter. Now this one has a little bit of chunk, so you wanna make sure that you have a nice thick coat, really good coverage, because if you have to sand it, it can, if you don't sand it, it can be a really heavy cup. That just happens, it's just the style of glitter you're using. Looks like I got a lot on, so now I'm gonna try to even it all out. There's a whole bald spot right there. Let that spin around, get some coverage. And if you have any pokey bits that are like really long or like this one right here down at the bottom, just pull it off. That way you don't have to deal with it later. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to take a clean finger and just go inside. I kind of got messy at the rim. I just want to make sure no epoxy is on the inside. Again, it just saves you later. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the green cranking one. And I think that's the last one. The other blue one um, had the epoxy. Okay, I mean, it's probably not ready to go in yet. you again. Hi. <laughs> Let's see. Over. Let's go straight. There we go. Okay. Can you see everything? Pretty much. I think. Please hold. Let me make sure. Yep. Decent. I did not sand anything. This is just what we did this morning. This was just a little bit ago. So because there is fine, too chunky. I will start with the fine just to get that nice and coated in case, and there's, it's an ombre, so obviously there's some chunky down there, but to prevent a ton of migrating from the big chunks, I'll just start with that and then work my way up. And try to keep it pretty clean, whoops, pretty clean there on the bottom so that it actually looks like an ombre and not just I miss the glitter, you know what I mean? So this one is a chunky glitter. It is going to take more epoxy. It's gonna take more patience. It's gonna take more sanding, all of the above. But when you get this gorgeous chunk, all of that dimension that comes through, it's so much shinier and prettier, in my opinion, than just a single color, you know, fine cut. Trying to get it all the way up to the rim there and then kind of work it down to make sure everything has epoxy on it. And then I will hit the butt. See, there's a chunk right there kind of in the center. It doesn't have anything. Try to get that all right there, the whole chunk, there we go. Try to get it all coated. I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything on my hands. There's one chunk. And then go back down here and get that bottom. The bottoms can be really tricky, especially if you have an uneven bottom, because then you have to sand and sand and sand. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. So I will just 
gently make sure this is fully coated. You got some strays, then make sure you take care of those now. And then we'll torch it and heat it. But for being a green, because I don't like green, I think it's so pretty. What? Uh, I haven't liked green in a very long time. I like Odie green. Okay, we're gonna take our torch, hit it, see if we have any bubbles to pop. <laughs> she loves green, Miss Judy. <laughs> is a slit slit bit a slight little bit tacky but we can still epoxy it we can still use it okay dokey let's go up and over let's try that Ooh. these stands i swear are just Sometimes I just feel like they're useless. Hold on, let me turn you around. Last one. Let's move this, let's move this. There we go. Let's give you a different angle. It is similar to Grinch Green, but I think money is a little bit more Grinch Green. Well, I guess it depends on which one, right? The cartoon. All right, so this is our, the one that we used the tinted epoxy and then used white glitter on top of. And it's a little bit tacky, but we're gonna just go ham. Man, that's a pretty color. And the epoxy is getting warm. So we were able to epoxy, how many cups, six? before it started getting warm. And I don't mind it warm because it kind of thickens it up even more in my opinion. Happy Earth Day is right. Hi, Burke. Yeah, it's getting a little thick, a little hard to work with. My bad, my bad. But we had a really long work time, so it was fabulous for, the, for what we needed it for. I love how flat the glitter laid on this one. It really did a good job. Good job, resin. All right, so now I will go smooth it out, take all that excess off. And then make sure our butt doesn't have any issues and then take a clean finger Make sure there's no epoxy in that rim. And then 
torch it and heat it. Torch it and heat it. Heat it. I use quick dry. No, I did not roll this one. I just sprinkled it on. It was dispersion ink and epoxy over a stainless tumbler, I believe. Yeah, over a stainless tumbler. And then we use magical chunky, which is a white. I don't like rolling it. For, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But for me, rolling it always, um, I take the epoxy off. Like I'm rolling it too hard or something. I don't know. I've tried it numerous times. I prefer taking a wax paper and patting it, but I don't know. Probably just me. Okay, y'all. That is it. Love how these turned out, except for Sangria. I'm going to go fix her in a little bit when she dries. And... That's that. So part three for beginners, obviously, will be how to sand them and how to prep your cups for the next steps. So I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people said they learned a lot on the first one, so that makes me happy. It makes me know that what I'm doing is right. Um, no, I usually don't. I just get it real, real, real thin, heat it up, spread it, heat it, spread it, so it's very thin, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I can try it, and then you can... Tell me what I'm doing long. Tell me what I'm doing long. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Try to send a picture of your cup and won't let me send. Aw. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.